Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. This time we're talking about HDR10 Plus and what exactly is HDR10 Plus? Well, basically it's a new version of HDR10 that adds dynamic metadata. So currently HDR10 uh, has dynamic metadata that applies to two numbers, the black level and the peak brightness, and that applies for the entire film. It does make tone mapping that content quite difficult because obviously um, films change from scene to scene and have two numbers that apply to the whole movie. When you add in dynamic metadata, what you're basically doing is adding in metadata for the black level and peak brightness that changes from scene to scene. And that better reflects the way the content was actually graded and also makes it easier for the TV to correctly display and tone map that content, giving you a better HDR experience that is closer to the content creator's original intentions. Um, in terms of HDR10+, Plus, it's basically being promoted and developed by a consortium of manufacturers and studios. Specifically right now, Samsung and Panasonic and 20th Century Fox, although Hisense and TCL have also said that they're going to support HDR10 Plus on their displays. In terms of content right now, it's actually a little bit limited. Basically, at the moment, Amazon have said they will be using HDR10 Plus on their streaming service, but currently HDR10 Plus is not part of the specifications for Ultra HD Blu-ray. So at the moment, there's limited availability, um, but there will be more content coming over time, and the plan is to add HDR10 Plus to the specifications for Ultra HD Blu-ray at some point in the future. Uh, in terms of other studios, none have actually supported it right now, apart from 20th Century Fox, and in terms of other manufacturers other than TCL, Hisense, Samsung, and Panasonic, there aren't any that have currently announced their support either. But it certainly is gaining traction. Obviously, it has a certain appeal because the thing about HDR10 Plus is that it's open source and royalty free. So you don't have to pay any licensing fees and you can develop it as and in, as in how you wish. Whereas the other version of the now metadata that's currently available on the marketplace, Dolby Vision, is an, a closed ecosystem that is controlled by Dolby and there are licensing fees involved. Although Dolby Vision does have a lot more support currently in terms of content, it is available on Netflix and Amazon and it's also part of the specifications for Ultra HD Blu-ray and there are already discs available with Dolby Vision on it. But that's basically what HDR10 Plus is. It's a new version of HDR10 that includes dynamic metadata. Hopefully you found this video useful and if you have then please like and subscribe. And don't forget you can find more news, reviews, articles and videos like this at avforums.com, Europe's largest home entertainment community. Thanks for watching.